Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Super Mario World. One of my favorite Mario games of all time, probably my most favorite side-scrolling Mario game. It's so hard to choose, there's so many great selections of it, but this game is so much fun. It has a near and dear place to my heart and I can't wait to play through it for you guys. Now I have played this game 100% on my own time before, but I've never done so with you guys on camera. So I'm gonna be trying my best for that in this series and hopefully everything turns out well. We have played a whole slew of Mario games this year with new Super Mario. Mario Bros, New Super Mario Bros Wii, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, some Mario Kart, and more coming soon. But, uh, but for right now, I wanna get started with this game, so if we're ready to go, let's get started with Super Mario World. Ah, here we are. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. I've always found this opening so weird because one thing, the text is weird, like it says again twice and then it says, uh, it says land twice, like Dinosaur Land and then this strange land. I don't know, it's weird, especially since the rest of this game is so top notch in quality, but as you can see, we start at Yoshi's house. I don't know what a Yoshi is, I guess we'll find out because this is the first game he ever shows up. Look, it's a little mailbox that says Yoshi, and if we press this thing, hello, sorry I'm not home, but I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Well, it looks like Bowser's at the no good all over the place, even uh, taking all of Yoshi's friends. So one thing that's really cool is that we've seen other Mario games with Overworld, Super Mario Bros. 3, but this one we have an immediate choice to go either left or right. I wanna go left because of course it's Yoshi's Island 1, so it makes sense to go this level. And honestly, I might be bad at this game at first. Oh gosh, giant ball bill. Because I don't know, the controls for this one are really unique in my opinion, and it can just be a little tough to get used to. But yeah, we'll do our best to go through 100% as much as I can. No matter what, we'll have a lot of fun with the game. We also have these little coins to collect. I mean, you don't really exactly need to collect them. We'll probably talk about that later. But for now, all I'm trying to do is survive. You might notice that Mario actually has two jumps in this game. He has his normal jump, but if you press the A button, you can actually do a spin jump, which if you land on certain blocks like that, it can take them out, which normal jumping can't do. He can't butt slam in this game just yet. Mario didn't learn his ability to slam on his rear end. There we go, got it. So let's try to collect as many of those as we can. But it really, like if I miss some dragon coins, that's what they're called, even though Yoshi's a dinosaur, it's weird. Point of advice, you can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen. To use it, press the select button, which we already have a mushroom up there because I just had one while I was already Big Mario, which can be very, very useful. And, oh boy, duck! We got another giant bullet pill. I love those guys in this game because they just have such a big face and they're like, ah! Uh, what about this? Point of advice to pick up a shell, use the X or Y button to throw a shell upwards, look up, and then let go of the button, which we can do no problem. So if we throw this up there, then we pick up the shell again, we can get ourselves, oh no, I fell! Whoops! Oh no, it's the first level! I can't die on the first level! Oh no! and it was in the act of getting a one-up. Luckily, that gets us to show off the little halfway checkpoint that are in this game. You might notice that there's also little dashed blocks there. We'll find out about that later in today's episode as well. But you can see that totally clears the amount of dragon coins you have. That was weird. I was holding the duck button. I don't know what's going on right now. It's weirded me out. I told you I'm gonna be really bad at this game. Even though I love it to bits, I'm so bad at it. But there's our life back. And I should be able to get another mushroom from here. Yes, I can. Awesome. But if you get 100% in this game, or at least you can get like the little 100% star on the save file without getting any dragon coins, I think. It's sort of weird how it works. There's no indication that like getting dragon coins is good. But there we go, we made our way past a football player, and we win. So there's 19 stars. The stars don't really matter much either way too. It's, it's sort of, it's weird. There's a lot of like arbitrary things in this game, but all that matters is we get all the secret exits and that's what I'll be trying my best for. And you can see you complete a level and like the world rebuilds. That was like so cool to me as a youngster. And what is this? A big old button, the Yellow Switch Palace. So let's check this out. Ooh, it's like a game show. So I have a button, which I think if I press it, yep, I get a bunch of coins. Nice, so we can actually make quite a lot of lives here if I'm quick about this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Already at seven lives. Luckily, lives are pretty nice in this game. It really isn't that bad to get a lot of them. So there is that. And let's find out what's over on this side. Because now we have eight lives in total. And hey, look, it's a big switch. 
Switch Palace, the power of the switch you have pushed will turn yellow dash blocks into yellow exclamation point blocks. Your progress will also be saved. Yeah, okay, cool. So there's our first Switch Palace. There are multiple of those in the game. So if I really, really wanted to, I could go back into that previous level and find a couple extra power-ups if I really needed it in those blocks that were dashed, the uh, Yoshi Island one. Uh, but I don't need to. There's no specific secrets in this level that I would really need to get, but that will be helpful later on. So it's always gonna go for the Switch Palaces when you can. But now it's time for Yoshi's Island 2, where this level is actually pretty cool because we're sort of in this forest which I like a lot. I'm gonna throw that, get a one up again. There's a lot of little tricks for getting a lot of lives in this game that I'll be trying to use as much as I can. I mean, of course, I don't wanna go too overboard, but hey, look at this. Hooray, thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. See, that's what's really weird. Apparently, Bowser trapped him in that egg, but Yoshi can, you know, put things in eggs as well. Is Bowser, like, part Yoshi? <laughs> To do a spin jump, press the A button. A Super Mario spin jump can break some of the blocks and defeat some of the tougher enemies. And that's true. But right now we have Yoshi. This is the first game Yoshi shows up in, and it's pretty cool. We can eat up a red Koopa and he'll spit out fireballs. He can eat up a green Koopa. He just spits his green Koopa back out. <laughs> Fortunately, I guess green Koopas aren't as special. But we also have all these fruit. Excuse me. Oh, I can't get you. You're not very nice. I know if we do jump on these guys, these football players are charging Chuck. They do eventually fall over. I just don't really care too much about it. And then we got another little piece of advice. Uh, this gate marks the middle of this area. By cutting the tape here, you can continue from this cl from close to this point if you get taken out. Yep. Okay, so gotta make sure none of these pipes we can go down doesn't look like it. And we get another Yoshi, but since we already have one, it's just another one up. Uh, we do have one of the moles. We do. Give me that mole. Okay, so I think there's a little secret. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yoshi, come back. Thank you. Uh, whoa, what happened there? I ate a fruit and another one showed up. That was weird. Um, yeah, there is a secret here. So unfortunately, Yoshi can't climb up vines, so we're gonna have to hop off of Yoshi. I don't think I chose the right button for that, but that's fine. And there's another little coin up here. But yeah, Yoshi is technically a dinosaur, even though those coins are called dragon coins. I never really understood that, but there we go, we got five of them, so we get a one-up. Sometimes there can be more than five in a single level, but they're really just a different way to get one-ups. I'm trying to eat this pink one. There we go. Can we go down this pipe? I think we can. Oh, oh, there we go. Controls are a little wonky for me at the moment. Oh, I remember this. See, we need to, like if we hop off a of Yoshi, you can see we can do this, but there's also these purple blocks which you can pick up and throw, and some of them have a one up. So if you're pretty good at aiming, which I'm only okay at aiming, I gotta be careful not to leave Yoshi in here. I don't think I can get him back if I do that. Let's grab another one. I got this is a little bit faster than hopping off a of Yoshi, so there's only one one-up. That's fine, we're at 12 lives already. At this rate, we'll get 99 and no problem. But we're gonna be trying to do one world per episode, so there should be like nine or 10 episodes in total. It'll be a lot of fun. I forget how exactly many worlds are in this game. But what's so fun about this one is it's so riddled in secrets, you know? I don't know if that's a proper way of explaining that. But there we go, we got that level done, and Yoshi actually will travel with us, unlike New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where he does not. But there we go, another level completed. So what do we got going on now? It's gonna be Yoshi Island 3. So it looks like there's a lot going on with Yoshi's Island. Oh, I remember this level, this one's a good one. Music as well. The big coins are dragon coins, see? If you pick up five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario. And they didn't call them extra lives, they call them extra Marios. Just like lots of weird little tidbits like that in this. So we don't wanna go this way, but you can see we sort of have a fail safe now that we've gotten the yellow switch. If we were to fall, we would be caught by those. Normally that's not the case if we were to rush through. So if you rush through this game, it's actually a little bit more difficult. And that's what I love. It's one of the few like side-scrolling Mario games that really encourages exploration. Most of them, no matter which route you take, it's gonna be sort of like the same level of difficulty. Like maybe some levels will be, oh gosh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, maybe some levels will be a little bit more difficult than others, but there's nothing you can specifically do in one level to make it easier in another. This game, totally not the case, you know? So that's really, really cool. So can we get down this pipe? Not quite. So I don't think I'm missing too many secrets, like I said. It's not like New Super Mario Bros in the way that you need to find star coins or whatever. When you stomp on an enemy, you can jump high if you hold the jump button. Use up on the control pad to jump high in the shallow water. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, or not. He just sort of disappeared. Oh, we got our first fire flower. Let's check this out. So of course you can become fire Mario in this game. It's very, very helpful. You wanna take out enemies from afar, but for right now we have Yoshi, so we're sort of fine. 
I feel like Yoshi has a little bit more floatier control, so it can be hard to work with him at time, at times, but we're making it work. It's going okay. So I don't think there's anything down that way. Gotta avoid all this stuff as much as possible. And hey, what's going on down this way, anything? Not quite, dodge that Koopa, jump this way, and ooh. I think there's actually something you can do with this, where if you hit this block when there's a certain time on the clock, you know, like the yellow timer going down, you actually get like certain things out of it. Like I think you can get a one up, which is pretty cool. So it looks like we're about to hit the end of the level. Unfortunately, I missed another dragon coin, so I only got four of them. Why'd I do that? Oh no, I didn't really mean to. I'm sorry, Yoshi. <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't think he comes with us now that I've done that. Oh wow, well, it's fine. We'll find another one soon. I'm sure he'll be off doing his own thing. He's plenty busy. He's a very busy dinosaur. But now we have Yoshi's Island 4 and a very menacing castle in the distance. Oh, this level is a little bit of a tough one, especially with these fish hopping around. They're a bit of a pain. Now they look a little bit different. Oh nice, we got a second fire flower. They look a little bit different from most of the fish we see in Mario games, but the control, they act exactly the same. Those creepy spike ball things. Don't know what the deal is with those guys, but they're not fun. Let's go ahead and destroy this guy. Oh no, we can't. I know Yoshi can tear this guy up pretty nicely. I guess I can't. They'll just constantly move towards you. If you are in an area that you've already cleared, you can return to the map screen by pressing start, then select. Nice to know. Yeah, I think Yoshi could destroy these guys. Hopefully we can get Yoshi sometime soon then. In the meantime, I need to get this. Oh, that guy just fell off the edge. No, I can't believe that didn't get it. Get out of here. You guys are so mean. Okay, well that didn't, that really only gave me a couple coins. That one was weird. Um, no, no, I needed that. <laughs> I'm making all sorts of mistakes right now. Uh, that was not what I wanted. Okay, yeah, this is a problem. Because I could have, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this game right now. Hold on. I guess that's not happening. I wanted to activate the, the platform so I could walk across. Didn't really work. Oh well, because I could have definitely gotten a couple one-ups out of hitting a bunch of stuff with the star power. All right. Whoa, be careful, don't let that thing hit you. I don't have any other power-ups besides this, so I gotta be real careful. Oh my gosh, this level does not let up. It's a little insane. What does this say? Uh, you get bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end of each area. If you collect 100 bonus stars, you can play a fun bonus game. Oh, I totally forgot that's what it's for. So we should actually be able to play a fun bonus game here. That should be over 100. Yeah, we'll get 25 plus 84 is well over 100. We actually, it just overflows over to nine. Very cool, so yeah, I remember this. It's all about timing. My timing is bad. Oh no, I'm getting a lot of fire flowers. Hey, look at that, all fire flowers. I wish that could have been stars, but I'll take what I can get, 19 lives is pretty good for the first episode. Yeah, <laughs> love him throwing up the peace sign. Mario's really cool, I feel like this is one of the first games where he shows like a lot of personality, and just really, really is his own character. But here we go, the castle of this first area, it's Iggy's castle. Now this first episode might be a little bit short, because there really just isn't too much more I can do, you know, like I wanna do a world per episode, so. We'll see what ends up happening, but for now, we're heading into the scary, spooky castle with intimidating music. Press up on the control pad while jumping, and you can cling to the fence. To go in the door at the end of this area, use up also. Okay, so if you take a look here, oh boy, gotta be careful, but, hmm. Let's go ahead and press that button. Oh boy, so I like this. This is one of my favorite parts of this game, is this little cage thing. I love seeing it in other Mario games. There's another fire flower. Oh jeez, you gotta be careful though. You can even punch this or just go over their heads like that. But if they're on the other side, just punch it and they'll get knocked out. You gotta be careful of this fire. There it goes. Move quickly, move quickly. And then you have little platforms or like little things like this. If you hit it, you actually go on the other side. And that can be a little confusing. Okay, I guess I'm back on the forward side again. I don't know how that happened. I sort of prefer to stay on the forward side as much as possible so I don't get confused. Uh. One of the Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Koopa. Defeat him, push him into the lava pool. Wow, okay. That's a little uh, drastic, but we'll go for it. I guess we're not fighting him just quite yet. Oh gosh, got some big mallets slamming down. I guess I'm gonna have to hide in here. I love this song, sorry. I don't mean to sing along annoyingly. Okay, we have another fire flower though. I might wanna hold on to it. Ah, it's too late. So we gotta be careful, this stuff's slamming down, it could definitely turn out badly. Oh boy, I don't know if I should run to the other side. Maybe I should have, am I gonna run out of space? Oh, not quite, not quite, nice, okay, we made it. So this is the boss door, let's fight Iggy Koopa. So, I not, maybe it's not Iggy. Was it Iggy? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think it's Iggy. 
My favorite is Lemmy. Oh no, it might be Iggy then. Okay, so we just gotta hit him off one more time. One more time. Yeah, we did it. Not bad. I'll take it. So there goes Iggy Koopa. Super duper easy boss fight if you take your time and you have a fire flower. Nice, so there we have it in like 15 minutes. We get the first world of Super Mario World done. Nice stuff, so thank you, you're welcome. We saved an egg, we exploded the castle. Maybe that's a little bit too much, Mario. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. All right, so now we know our objective for the next episode. Sounds like it's Donut Land. And I think we'll take a little sneak peek at that now, right? Looks like it, so here is Donut Land. I love this area so much because it was so exciting to get here as a kid because it took so much work. Just be like, oh, there's so much more, you know? So we're gonna explore all of that and so much more in future episodes. I hope you enjoy. This is one of my favorite games, so I hope you guys will be along with me for the ride. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for the first episode of Super Mario World. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Super Zebra World so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.